Good morning everyone, it's Melanie. Um, so I'm going to try to attempt this video. Uh, the reason I'm making this video, and I've been wanting to make it since this morning, is because I am having a stuck episode, okay? And uh, this is an ongoing stuck episode since the day before, since yesterday night. Um, so it's funny because I never knew that if you get stuck from the night before, you wake up and you're still stuck. And it's 10 o'clock a.m. and I am still stuck and having a hard time. Um, it's like if somebody speaks to me, I'm not really paying attention because it's um, kind of like some type of tension you have. Like this thing that you just like want to get up and you can. I mean, I've tried several times and it just... Whatever it's there, I'm like, it doesn't want to come up after, you know, going to the bathroom a few times. And, I mean, if you guys are asking what did I eat, um, I barely ate yesterday. <laughs> I went to Applebee's, okay, uh, with my husband and my son after watching a movie. I didn't have any popcorn, didn't have any soda, didn't have any goodies. So, right after the movies, we just went to Applebee's. And, um... I had ordered uh, the two for twenty meal, right, for me and my husband, and we both ordered a uh, steak with mashed and veggies. And of course, you get like a little appetizer. The appetizer is uh, boneless buffalo wings. We ordered the boneless buffalo wings dry, and then the sauce on the side. So I just ate one piece, okay, of the boneless buffalo wings. I mean, it must just be like this, maybe this small, this like this size. And, um, I think that I didn't chew correctly and a whole big piece came down. Um, so that came down fine. So I was like, oh, okay, um, it didn't get stuck, you know? I mean, it was a really big piece that I just let go down, right? And, um, I felt it. I was like, I did not swallow that correctly. I did not chew that correctly. I was like, alright, but I didn't get stuck. Um, so I just went to take another bite and that was it. I was done. Um, I, I was, like, sick throughout the whole meal. Like, I was in and out of the bathroom. And, um, I had ordered, like I said, I had ordered, um, a 7-ounce steak, mash, and veggies. And, of course, usually I'm able to get, like, maybe 3 or 4 ounces of that steak, you know, to eat. I did not even touch my plate. <laughs> uh, because I was stuck. I can't imagine, like, um, someone not telling their family member or like um i mean it's it's really really hard to hide basically like when you're in a restaurant and something like that happens and you're in and out of the bathroom because i must have been out of that in and out of that bathroom like three times oof i think it's actually going down now as i'm speaking to you i'm i'm thinking that because you feel it when it goes down like you actually feel it when it's actually you know you're not stuck anymore if you guys are wondering what the feeling is it's like really really hard to talk to like it's hard to concentrate it's hard to talk like when you're you're having a stuck episode but if you guys are like wondering like what is that stuck feeling it's kind of like something like stuck in your throat and it's like between your throat and like right here in your chest and you just like you, you just like feel something like it's right there and it's like held on like it just won't let go it won't it won't go through you know so um I'm just like waiting to get better. It's like I'm like how long is this going to go on to? You know, and I think that what makes it worse because it was like all right, I was even when I got home, I was like I still like try taking maybe like a glass of milk, a glass of water. It only makes it worse. Okay? If because if you have something stuck right here in your esophagus, um if you drink any type of fluid, it only makes it worse. You're just going to end up throwing that right back up to um so you can't really, I think, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm talking to you and I'm like feeling better. I feel it go, I'm literally feeling it go down. So I'm like, oh my goodness, thank God that it's actually, <sighs> um, what was I saying? Again, this video is very difficult for me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just continued, um, like, you know, put, putting it back up, putting it back up, you know, and it's like. I mean, how many times is a girl going to go to a bathroom, you know, and like, but it's just like, um, so I went to bed last night. I still felt it right here in my throat. I just like, I was like, I'm just like done, like throwing up. So I just laid down, you know, and I went to bed because it's late now. It's like 10 o'clock 
And um, I think that the mistake that somebody could do is just like lay down and lay um, on their back because it's just going to get worse in the morning. Um, again, I woke up this morning and I was still stuck. Try to dr drink a glass of skim milk, threw that back up. Try to drink my coffee, it's still like halfway. Every t I, I mean, this is a cappuccino, a low fat cappuccino, and it's like full of foam. So I'm like maybe a quarter of it down, and every time I try to take a sip, I end up in the bathroom, you know? So it's like it's like building on top of my whatever I have stuck in there. The, of course, it's the boneless buffalo wing. Um, and again, I only ate like maybe half of one or even one, and that was it. I was done. So um, it just builds up. Whatever, whatever you have in your, in your chest or whatever you ate, it's just going to build up anything that you, you, you just put in. If, if it's either liquids or anything else, while you're still stuck, you're just going to end up throwing it back up. Or PBing, like Wendy says. I just used a simple term. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just wanted to describe how it was getting stuck um, and how long it could possibly be. Um, you know, some people going to these meet and greets and, and, and knowing they also have lap band. This is another thing, the the burping, you know, um, which is a sign of you getting stuck, the burping. So I just burped, and I, and I was like, you know, sometimes that makes you feel better. Also, some things that try to make you feel better is like, when you do get stuck, is like jumping up and down, or possibly doing jumping jacks, as funny as that may sound. When I'm driving in the car and I hit a pothole, that sometimes makes me feel better just for a moment or whatever, but... Yeah, those are some of the things that you could try when you do get stuck. Jumping, jumping jacks, uh, getting a pothole, as funny as it sounds. Um, so, I forgot what I was going to say. My train of thought, I'm a mess today, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm not feeling well, but I just wanted to go ahead and record it. Just so that if others might experience... I, I remember what I was going to say. Um... Some people don't get stuck as long as I do. I see people from going to the meet and greets um, that they get stuck. They go to the bathroom, handle their business. Five, ten minutes later, they're out. That's it. They're done. Uh, no more stuck episode. No, not for me. For me, I go several times. I mean, like, maybe be it five, ten times. As of right now, i probably gone more than ten times since last night. You know, so it's different from for everybody. Um... But this is something that you have to uh, go through once you have weight loss surgery. Um, so just beware. Okay. Well, I'll make a later video as an update because I do have an update. When I'm feeling a little bit much better, I'll make one. But as of now, I just wanted to document this. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.